All right, guys, Deseret Industries. Today we're gonna go to, I believe, four Deseret Industries and three Goodwills. We're gonna compare prices and we're gonna see what's going on in these thrift stores. Hey guys, so we just got 17 items for $75.60, which ends up being $4.44 cost of goods. Believe it or not, that's actually above my average. But before I get into the breakdown of what I just bought, which is some awesome stuff, um, I wanted to talk to you guys for a second. I was just in that store. Um, it's the first time I've ever been here because this one just was just barely built like six months ago and it's, it's farther off the highway, so I never stop at it. While I was going through the racks, one of the employees was right there putting some stuff up. And so I said to him, good morning, man, how are you? And he like looked around confused and he's like, me? I'm like, yeah, man, how are you? And he's like, no one ever asked me how I'm doing. I'm like, really? Yeah, well, yeah, well, tell me how you're doing. And he's like, I'm doing really good. I just got this job. Like, you know, like I've been, uh, I've been struggling lately, but I had this really cool opportunity. I've been working here for two months and I'm finally getting back up on my feet. Thank you for asking. I'm like, yeah. And then we just started talking about what I do. I told him, yeah, man, I'm buying all these clothes and I'm selling them online. And he's like, wow. He's like, yeah, I get a lot of good stuff from thrift stores too. And he's like, actually, we were going to bring this rack out in two hours, but I'll just go ahead and go grab it for you right now. And so he went and he grabbed the rack. He brought out this new rack of clothes for me to look at. And on that rack was a was a new Tommy Bahama silk shirt for $7 and a vintage Nike hoodie, not a hoodie, a vintage Nike jacket for $7. All because I just, you know, asked someone how they were doing. <laughs> so just be a friendly guy and, and doors will open up to you. So let's go ahead and see what I got. All right, so we'll start off with those first two shirts that I just mentioned. Looks like I lied because I said it was seven, but it was actually six, brand new with tags. Because it says the coconut point, it's gonna sell for a little bit more because it has tags obviously gonna sell for a little bit more. Don't let, don't let this deter you. This is a really, really um, known college. Uh, there's buyers out there. They're gonna see this and fall in love with it. This isn't gonna hurt the resale value whatsoever. Next up, we have this vintage Nike jacket. Again, only $7. Plus I have a 15% off coupon because I did the survey code. So yeah, a uh, really cool pickup. This was on the rack that they weren't gonna put out and I would have been long gone beforehand if I didn't talk to that guy. I'm gonna go over some of the other stuff a little more quickly. I was able to pick up three of these Orvis, all of them $5 each plus the 15% off coupon. There's three of them that are really similar to this. That's really cool. I got a Travis Matthew shirt in there, a little bit of Ted Baker for five bucks. Uh, this is a pretty cool vintage Columbia shirt. So yeah, guys, um, this thrift store is amazing. I, <laughs> yeah, you're gonna see at this next Goodwill, the prices are not the same. Um, but yeah, you guys, you just gotta get there early. You'll find really good stuff. Early bird gets the worm. Know what you're looking for. Built, that's another really good brand to be looking at. This is a jacket. I, it was only $5 and it, uh, it's resale value is anywhere from 50 to 70. So yeah, really good store. Also got a couple hard goods. Um, I got a few remote controls for a dollar. That hydro flask was a dollar. That wallet, Buxton, pretty good brand to look out for. That was a dollar 50. And then, you know, anything Bose is usually worth always worth looking up and almost always worth grabbing five bucks yeah really good day all right travis matthews here seven dollars actually not too bad but i just got one of i got two of those for four dollars um so almost double here another shirt that i pick up all the time for three dollars at the desert industries it's set in here I still think I might get it, we'll see. So this Pendleton flannel with the lining on the inside worth way more, yet it's a dollar less. That's an easy pickup right there. All right guys, I was actually a little presently surprised. Um, the total ended up being $33 for five items. So my cost of goods was 660, which is almost close to double my, my average cost of goods. My cost of goods currently is about $3.76. So it is, up there, but it's not actually as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Got some really good stuff. Uh, Pendleton is always a grab. Marmot, awesome outdoor company that's great. Tori Richards, awesome vintage Hawaiian t-shirts that sell really well. Tommy Bahama, a lot of people hate on Tommy Bahama, but if it's got the flip cuff, it's gonna sell for a little more. And like I've said in past videos, cool. Really, really awesome shirts. Um, 660 is nothing to complain about. Um, but it definitely is higher than the DI for sure. 
All right, coming out of this Deseret Industries, I only got one controller. It's not even really worth showing. It's a Logitech, got it for $3. I'll probably sell it for 15 plus shipping. Yeah, sometimes that's just how it goes. So uh, hit more stores, drive more miles, touch more shirts, touch more VCR players, touch more remotes. <laughs> um, if you get your reps in, you'll, you'll get your items. But yeah, so on to the next Goodwill and then two more DIs and one more Goodwill. All right, guys, this is the uh, thrift store where I got 25 profitable items yesterday. Uh, let's see if we can get 15 plus today. Back to back, you're usually not gonna get 25s, but we'll see what happens. I walked in there, I looked around for a minute. There wasn't too much. I started seeing signs of other resellers. Um, let me know in the comments below if you guys want me to make a video about how to know if there was another reseller in a store before you got there but yeah definitely uh saw this kid that uh we superficially know each other just from seeing each other at the thrift stores uh we've talked about what we do a few times and he was here so uh i'm just skirting off to the next one i'm gonna beat him there and then he'll probably beat me to the next one after that so now it's just a game of chicken right now so i might come back to this store later but uh yeah definitely gonna skirt skirt to the next one all right guys chi especially the ultra it's almost always a pickup so we're gonna grab that one even though this part is a little broken I'll just disclose that and it'll still sell i already tested it next up hot tools professionals is almost always a pickup just got to look up each individual model that one five dollars gonna turn it into 20. this one five dollars only worth about 10. so i'm gonna leave that one behind I've been behind the electronics reseller all day because I usually have more electronics that I pick up. But uh, these these two are definitely worth the pickup. Um, just these little Blu-ray Blu players, especially if I can find the remotes. Even without the remotes, they're worth 30 bucks each. What I found hiding right here, the InStyler. Yep, this is definitely a pickup. Allen Edmonds, six bucks, thank you, sir. Full Han. Six dollars, thank you, sir. A lady with some pretty brand new Hoka's in her cart. I asked her how much she got them for, and she said six bucks as well. So, good shoes here today. We just rolled out a new cart. I got three Peter Lamar shirts. Did I say Lamar? Lamar Jackson? I'm just kidding. Peter Millar. One of them is a summer comfort, but at five bucks, whether it's summer comfort or not, they're all worth picking up. Right, guys, I think I showed you all 12 items that I got in there. Um, Ended up being $51.75, brings our cost of goods to um, four seventy. dollars A little bit higher than the last two stores, but really great items. Man, I wish you guys could be jamming with me, but uh, YouTube music licensing won't allow it, which is perfectly fine. But uh, yeah, we're jamming on in between in between these 20 minute drives to each thrift store. Um, it's, it's important to have fun while you're out here, you know? Don't, don't take it all too seriously. You're making a living for yourself, you're making good money, you're doing your side hustle, you're making extra vacation money, whatever you're doing. Don't get caught up in, in the negative aspects of reselling. Prices go up, um, people get there before you do. It's hard to find good products. Maybe your thrift stores don't have good products in general. Maybe, you know, you feel like eBay is limiting your views. You're not getting good sales. Summer slowdown is really affecting you. There's a lot of really negative aspects of, of uh, reselling. Just have fun. Um, you're not gonna have a perfect day every day. You're not gonna get all the items you want every single day. Um, I've gotten significantly better at sourcing over the last year, year and a half. And I still, I mean, that last thrift store before this one, I got zero items. So it happens. Wasn't there for that long because I understood that there was other thrift, um, other resellers my age in there. And But yeah, that last one, this, this one I just barely went to, another great one. But uh, yeah, just have fun in between stores, listen to music. I usually listen to podcasts. Just learn, have fun, grow, have a good time. Here's an example of something I normally pick up at the DI because it's usually eight bucks, but here it's 20. It's a good model number that sells for about 60 plus shipping, but it might not even work. So for $20, I'll pass. The Utah, we got the Dawn issue. I think these are ones. Not 100% sure, but uh, someone ripped the tags off these. I asked the manager how much they wanted. They said 50. That's going to be a no-go. All right, this doesn't happen very often, but I'm walking out empty-handed with zero. <laughs> um, that price is a little more expensive. And um, there was clues that another reseller got there before me. Um, it was probably that kid I was talking about earlier. So, yeah, just not just not a lot. Um, but there's one more DI, Desert Industries, that I'm going to go to to round out the day. 
I'll do a little breakdown, do some numbers, and uh, we'll, we'll, I think it'll be a pretty good video. Let me know what you think. All right, guys, the last DI on my route was oddly closed. I uh, must be doing some sort of renovation or something. So I'll get home, throw this edit together, and see what we got cooking. All right, guys, so we just ended up going to three Deseret Industries and two Goodwills. We got 40 items at the Deseret Industries for an average cost of goods of $4.16. And then we got five items at the Goodwills for an average cost of $6.60. Um, there was a lot of things in the Goodwills that I normally would have picked up, but they were just priced too high at $20, $15, even $50. And there's also a few things that were priced too high at the Desert Industries, but overall, I walk away with a lot more items for cheaper from the Desert Industries than I do from the Goodwill. Um, so yeah, definitely given given the edge to Deseret Industries here, I was able to get 40 items um, in only three stores for that 416. And then Goodwill, two stores, five items, close to $7 cost of goods. So yeah, Deseret Industries is definitely a special thrift store. If you guys can make it to Utah, get out here, come put me out of business uh, and get some uh, good stuff at these stores.